A new hyper-efficient way of life called the tiny house movement is slowly gaining steam across the United States. Tiny house enthusiast Beth Norgard held the presentation at the Brainerd Public Library on this unique way of life. Logan Gay has more. Beth Norgard was once a successful paralegal in Texas until she decided to sell all of her belongings and start a new lifestyle. Through this process, she received a new home and a new outlook on life. I learned a lot about myself. Um, I did things that I'd never done before, things I didn't know I could do. And I, was, I found it to be really empowering and letting go of the possessions was extremely liberating. Beth's tiny home took her five months to build and now she uses it to travel all over the United States to teach other curious individuals about the tiny house movement. A tiny house road trip is like no other road trip that you've ever done before. It's spectacular and anywhere you go, you're home. The presentation was filled with individuals who are building or thinking of building a tiny home for themselves. I've been working on it for about five years on and off and I've just been uh, just trying to find ideas and and uh, the best construction techniques. Best 112 square foot home is small enough to fit into a single parking space. My exterior size is 8 by 16. My interior space is 6 by 13 plus a loft. So it's pretty small. I have a kitchen, a bath, um, a queen-size futon up in the loft, and then I have a living room desk area. Although her home may be small, she feels that she is not missing out on anything. It's a perfect space for me, and I've been just really happy in there since I've, I moved in in April of 14, and I've loved every minute of it. Beth's goal is to one day live and be a part of an urban tiny house community. And Brainerd, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. And Norgard, uh, as Logan said, goes all over the country talking about tiny houses. And our next stop is in Orlando, Florida in April. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.